This is a very comprehensive solution to track changes inside Active Directories and Group Policy, as well as the Exchange. So what we've done is we have gloved three components inside a domain. So you get complete Active Directory reporting, Group Policy reporting and Exchange on-prem reporting under the domain. With Active Directory reporting, there are two kinds of reports which we basically report on. The real-time changes, which are the modification reports, and the state and time changes, or state in time reports. So what the solution does is it takes a backup of your group policies as well as Active Directory objects, and it shows you the current state of those objects. For example, if you run an Active Directory straight report, you can see there are four different reports inside. Reports on the organizational units, for example, how many OUs do you have inside your domain? So the reports are directly fetched from the recent backup. You can change it to various last backups as well. So when you generate a report, it shows you a list of all the organizational units that you have inside your domain, along with the path and the description. You can also group them on the basis of these organizational units. So here you see the name of the OUs, the path of the OU, the object class, and the description. So this is a state and time report for your organizational units. Similarly, you have many reports for your users, say all the users, their group memberships, password changes not allowed, etc. So you can see these are the multiple users. Similar reporting is available for the groups and computer objects. So this is a state and time report which is fetched directly from the backups. The solution can help you track real-time changes which are happening in your domain right now. For example, a user creation, a user deletion, a security group modification. So we have multiple reports in here. Let's go to all the modification reports. And under that, let's go to object modifications. And when I talk about the object here, it could be any object inside Active Directory. It could be a user account, it could be a computer, it could be an organizational unit, it could be a security group or a container. So you have complete filtering available at the top if you want to go back in time. If you want to view the data for a time interval, you can set that custom date range. You can set it to an object class, say a user object or a computer, via the WHO modification field. So let me show you a sample report to give you a little more insight. So this report basically covers everything. A member addition to a group property modification of any security group or an object. The creation of a container, DNS changes, everything which an administrator can do sitting on the domain controller is captured by the solution. A permission modification of an OU, creation of an OU. The details section shows you the who, what, when and where information. That means the organizational unit on which the operation is performed. The user who has done it, the date and time of the operation, the actual operation which is performed, that means the creation of an OU. So this OU, India, is created by this user at this time. And what will show you the complete details. So the solution actually helps you to track down the real-time activity done by the users. So it basically answers the question, how your users are interacting with your Active Directory objects, and how the administrators are making changes. All modification, we can give you the logon slash logoff reports as well. This is particularly important because these days a lot of people are working from home. So you can get complete reporting of the logons and logoff attempts of the users on the endpoints. So you get to see everything. The name of the user, the date and time of the logon, the machine where they have logged on, the machine from where, that means both the source and the destination, and the type of logon. If it's a log off attempt, if it's a session locked, it's a log on or disconnection to the remote terminal. It shows you everything. Similar to the successful ones, we also help you track down the failed logons inside the domains as well. So it can really help you in identifying a brute force attack. So if somebody is trying to access the machines from outside the network, or maybe from inside the network and their password attempts are failing, or their logon attempts are failing due to bad passwords or locked accounts, the solution captures all of those events for you. There's also domain controller logon slash logoffs. So there are multiple reports under logon and logoffs which are further segregated on the basis of the machine where the logons are made. Users logged on multiple computers, 
that means if a single user has logged on to multiple computers, then we can show you the reporting and the concurrent logons as well. That means a single user has logged on to multiple machines at the same time. Similarly, multiple other reports are available as well. Infrastructure reporting, schema modifications, trust modifications, container modifications, modifications done to any organizational units, user reporting like user creation slash deletions, modifications to the user accounts, movement of the users, their password reset changes, and their rename attempts, computers, security groups, and so on. So it's very comprehensive. We give you complete reporting, alerting, and scheduling to the Active Directory here.